Welcome to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger. Welcome and welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well. And I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. I know I had a nice weekend. My throat is itching like crazy. And I'm not <clears throat> understanding why. <clears throat> oh my goodness. <clears throat> I am so sorry, y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Maybe they don't want me to tell this message, okay? I've already shuffled this deck. And um, I'm ready. Uh, today is April the 12th, um, Tuesday, April the 12th. Uh, today at 2 p.m., we, we moved into the into your energy, Virgo. We are under the Virgo moon energy where everyone feels like organizing. So you may have had the urge to start your spring cleaning, getting in the in them closets and, uh, and getting uh, in the garage, in the basement. It's that type of energy. We're going to be in that organizing energy for the next couple of days, okay? We just left out of the Leo energy, which is that happy community of uh, uh, energy where people are very social and, 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 and get along. Okay. They want to be heard. So they, everybody was very talkative <laughs> during that Leo moon. <laughs> okay. Keep in mind, these readings are, are, uh, general. So, uh, take what resonates and leave the rest. Your overall energy, Virgo, look at there, the sun, that Leo energy. Okay. Happiness, abundance, all that. It's the happiest card in the deck. Virgo Collective. What are they in? What's going on in the energies of the Virgo Collective? What's going on in the energies of the Virgo Collective this week? Okay, the Tower. Scorpio Energy. Transformation. Big changes. What else we got for the Virgo Collective? Ace of Wands, okay, but there's going to be change, okay. I don't know, maybe it should went like that. I don't, I don't know. My spirit guides are letting me know if it's wrong, though. They show enough to tell me. The Five of Pentacles is feeling left out in the cold. So after this big change, this big event here, you're going to feel left out in the cold, and then um, the Ace of Wands is a new beginning. Anything you desire, all you have to do is ask for it, Virgo. Okay. Thank you. And you're going to have success with the world card there. Good stuff. Any other energies for the Virgo Collector? That was my fault. I'm sorry. I, I did something over here. The Virgo Collector. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles. So you're sitting back thinking about what is it that you need to do next, okay? Okay, after you done put the work in, <clears throat> what is it that you should do next? The Tower. Why is this here for the Virgo Collective? That's Scorpio Energy. Why is that here? Is fruitful and she's beautiful. It's saying um something's gonna change to make you start taking care of yourself. It's probably the weather. <laughs> you going your hair is done, you're gonna get your hair done. You don't be neglecting your feminine side. You know, you're gonna women and men too. Get that hair done, get that hair cut, get your nails done, you know, paint them toenails. It's that time of season. But I need one more card. Why is this on this tower? Thank you. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Now, I know what that means. Come on. You guys think you get tired of me looking at my book. I get tired of looking at my book. I'm going to have to find another strategy to learn this stuff in reverse. Loss. Unfinished projects and bad faith and deception. Okay. I'm going to have to go all the way to the beginning because I really am not getting this. 
That's the Queen of Pentacles. She's as, she's as beautiful as the male, right? Generous, wealthy, magnificent, magnificence, security, liberty, growth, humble, a humble homemaker, stability, financial, uh, good in business, social butterfly, successful money is good. But it's all going to come to an end. What? It's talking about loss. This is loss. Deception. So, something's going to happen to make you lose. Something. And it's a big loss, too, with that tower there. Somebody's going to deceive you and probably uh, get you for your money. Through deception and bad faith, you're really going to believe in this person. Because they're beautiful and they got it all together and stuff. But this is going to cause a huge tower. And it's going to probably have you homeless. Five of Pentacles. Why is that here for the Virgo Collective? Oh my goodness. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? That's messed up. People playing a lot of games right now. Y'all know that the tax season is the scammer's time. This is when they come after everybody. Oh my goodness. You're going to be feeling out and left out in the cold. This Taurus energy here. Uh, let me look at this Five of Pentacles again. Because it ain't just feeling left out in the cold. I know it's a card of loss too. Let me see. Okay. So after this person deceives you or whatever, there's, 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 there's going to be some sort of... Um, you're going to lose some material loss. Okay. It's gonna cause you to this 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 loss that you trust in somebody is gonna cause you to have uh some financial hardships. Five of five of pentacles, bad luck, homeless, illness, divorce, disgrace, breakups, poverty, struggle. Don't fall for the okie doke. Don't get nobody your money, Virgo. I know a lot of y'all out there young, y'all too trusting, y'all be trusting, don't trust nobody. I'm telling you, I was there. I've, I've been got to. Sure, strong father figure. Realizing intelligence, business, mathematical gifts. Success in these paths. Okay, so you're going to take an L, but you're going to come back. So it's going to be short-lived, like it said. Okay, the Ace of Wands. I didn't know how to put those two cards together. But you're going to have this brand new beginning. With this ace of wands, so that's great. But you watch out for them sneaky people out here. Three of wands. <clears throat> oh my goodness, Kenji, I'm so sorry. The the ace of wands. I'm telling you, when you do doing this readings, you can't even take a sip of water. It just be having you burping and all kind of stuff, and you know, gyrating your your torso like that. Okay. Um, so the Ace of Wands talks about a new beginning and the thought of a new beginning is stressing you out, but it's also your wish fulfillment. Okay. So you're kind of like feeling like you're on the fence there. Why is the world here for the Virgo Collective? Anything you wish for, you can have it though, Virgo. Anything you ask for, you can have it. The world, why is this here? Why is the world here? Okay. Because you're going to have a new beginning with communication and balance, okay? After a painful time, you're going to gain some sort of clarity. And you're going to get your balance with that Libra energy there. Okay. After a hard time, clarity is going to come to you. And you're going to have your new beginning. Okay. Good stuff. 
you're going to have your new beginning and you're going to be balanced. Good stuff. And you know, that's the way Virgos like it. They like to be balanced. Everything how it's supposed to be. Seven of Pentacles. Why is this here? Yeah, you're thinking about your new beginning with the Scorpio energy, that death card. You're thinking about your new beginning. And let's just make sure. Because after you've done this, after somebody takes you, somebody's going to take you. That's what these cards are saying. Somebody's going to get you for your little money. I'm, I ain't mean to call you money little, but somebody's going to get you for your money. And you're going to, yeah, new beginning. And you're going to have everything you wish for with the star. Absolutely wonderful. That is a wonderful reading. Let me look at the bottom of the deck. Balance, choices. Mm -hmm. Strategy and moving forward to get out of your head and get away from this toxic energy of this relationship that you're in. And you're not telling nobody that you're going to make a decision to go on a whole new path because you're at a crossroads. And you're daydreaming about when people are going to respect you. So you're standing in your power and you're not tolerating any third party event and, and nothing. Somebody's going to come make you an offer and you're going to feel like you want to take it. But you're going to be victorious and walk away from this love. Because you know this person is lying. That's two cards of walking away. So you're going to cut it off. Because you know the truth. It's not going to be easy because you care about this person. But you're moving to calmer waters. Your guardian angels are watching over you. You're going to be fine on your new beginning. Good stuff. All right. Let's get you guys some um some kipper. This deception here ain't cool. I don't know that people are a trip, I tell you. Kipper's a fortune telling deck. So we're gonna see what the kipper has to say for the verbal collection. Your overall energy is that you're happy at the end of the day. Okay. Somebody's trying to come in and get you for your money. And it's being you're being told to watch your pockets. Don't don't let nobody borrow no money. Don't let nobody spend a night at your house or walk freely through your crib. And, and because they might know where you stash your money at. Because it might take you, they might take all your rent money. That's what I'm seeing here. It's not cool. Any messages for the verbal collector? Privileged lady. I'm going to have to look that one up. Number 12. Virgo Collector. What's going on with the Virgo Collector? Thank you. Thank you. Distant Horizons. That's a great card to have. And then Main Mail. Oh, this card. Where that come from? And then uh, Adjudication. Which means that you guys are going to be having some sort of a day in court. And it may cause you some sort of despair. Okay. So you may not win if you take this person to court after they done took your money. And from what I'm seeing here, let's look at this privileged lady. Is that how somebody views the Virgo energy? What number is that? 12? Privileged lady. We meet the privileged lady, the epitome of wealth. Okay. Let's hold. Let's go down. Hold on a second. Okay. She can be a young woman, a daughter, or younger mistress. When this card isn't referring to a person, it's talking about a lucky phase, being carefree, no worries. This is usually a positive card, but near bad ones, it can be family-related grief. Okay, so somebody in your family could be the ones trying to take your money. You better be careful, Virgo. Okay, and distance horizons, 36. This is a card of dreams and fantasies. The card that follows this one can be a dream or fear coming to pass this main male so it could be a male cousin or male brother or something that's trying to steal from you but it, but if a card is followed by this one 
Um, wait a minute. But if, if a card is followed by this one, it will remain just a dream for the time. Oh, the privileged lady. So you're not going to have the riches that you desire. Got you. Okay. Because that was the first card. But the card that follows it can be a dream or a fear coming to pass. Okay. Hopes will come to pass if card 26 is next to this card. No, you got the main male and um privileged lady. So these two could be working together. These two could I didn't even think about that. Those two could be working together trying to get your money. This privileged lady, you know, privileged people, they usually like to gossip. So this could be a gossiping energy. And with this sneaky conniving main male, they could be working to 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 take from you. The timing is usually in the summertime with that hidden horizons. Yeah, this I think that that's what's going on. These two right here, two people are, are, are working um, to try to get your monies. They're working together. Virgo, be careful. And then you're going to try to take them to court, but you're not going to win because it sits next to the despair card. So before you even have to go to any go through any of that, Virgo, <laughs> just don't. Don't let nobody roam around your house. I don't even care if they just go into the bathroom. I used to have a friend of mine. I called him a little friend, but I don't know if they were my friend or not for real. But every time I went over to their house, they followed me. And wherever I go, if I'm just walking out the room to go grab the ashtray out the other room, and you can see me from the other room, they followed me. If I went to the bathroom, they followed me. If I went in any, like, like I couldn't move around their place, and they didn't used to be like that. So... When they started doing that, I just said, you know what, I'm not going around there no more. I don't know what's going on over there, but if I can't be comfortable at your house, at your place, I'm not coming. Because I don't, I, don't li I don't like thieves. I'm sorry. And I, I wouldn't dare steal anything from anyone. I was offended. I was. I'm sorry. But Virgos, just be careful. Just watch your back. And I don't care if it's family, friends. Like they said, that can be family, friends with the privileged lady. It can be family. It can be the man you love. You think you love, you know what I mean? But I think it's a female or somebody that's fine because of this right here. This is what's talking about the, the thievery. Now, this is somebody who looks good, takes care of themselves and everything. It's going to be a big bombshell when this occurs, this thievery occurs, because this is about loss when it's in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles. Be careful, Virgo. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck with this. You guys, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate each and every one of you. Come back and see me. I'm going to try to get some more readings out this week. We're going to see what's going on with this. Um, and see if it changed at all. Okay? Yeah. You guys take care. I'll talk to you soon. Like, share, subscribe. All right. Bye-bye.